Now, if you will help me welcome former Texas Solicitor General, Ted Cruz. What a wonderful day to gather together at the Texas Capitol. In the fall of 1835, the citizens of Gonzales received a demand from General Santa Ana. The Texians living in Gonzales were told, hand over their guns. And they were told, hand over the cannons that stand guarding the city. The Texians in Gonzales, as everyone knows here, put up a flag with their answer. A flag we see proudly flying here today. Come and take it. As Texans, we have a great legacy of standing up and fighting for liberty. Fighting and putting everything on the line for liberty. Now, we are honored that the president has come to visit the state of Texas. And yet the policies this president defends are threatening the freedoms of every Texan and every American. You know, I would urge the president to come visit our wonderful local establishment, El Arroyo. I don't know how many of y'all saw on the day Obamacare passed, El Arroyo put up a sign out front, as they do every day. The day Obamacare's passed, they said, come try the Obama special. Order anything you want, the next table pays. There's an awful lot of wisdom in that t sign outside of El Arroyo. What I'd like to tell everyone is two things. Number one, today, we are facing the greatest threat to our liberty from Washington this nation has ever seen. Ideas matter. It is Texas in the summertime. No one in their right mind is outside in the blazing heat. Unless there's something bigger than ourselves that we're here fighting for. This is a debate that has been going on for centuries. It's a debate between liberty and tyranny. The president could learn a great deal from our wonderful state of Texas. The president could learn most fundamentally that freedom works. The president can learn that individual responsibility works. The president can learn, as Ronald Reagan told us, that a government big enough to give you everything is a government big enough to take everything from you. All of the political pundits like to talk about what the issue is. I'm going to tell you the issue is very simple. It's one word, freedom. That's what this fight is all about. The president could learn that it speaks volumes, that even the Democrats in Texas have fled Austin to get away from his left-wing policies. If the Democrats in Austin are not willing to stand side by side by this incredible expansion of government, that tells you something about just how radical this administration is. And yet the second point I want to make is a point of encouragement. We are seeing right now in the state of Texas and all across this country a great awakening that is sweeping across the state and the nation. There is something incredible happening, something none of us have ever seen before. We are seeing thousands and even millions of people all across the nation standing up to defend liberty. How many people here have read the Constitution?
Constitution. You know, if you got a gathering of politicians together, there'd be almost no hands in it. What an incredible statement for democracy that we've got citizens in all 50 states standing up, rereading the Constitution, coming out on a blistering August day because we believe in the Constitution, we believe in liberty, and we will defend freedom in Texas. This is an incredible moment in our nation's history. We are seeing a tsunami of all sorts of individual men and women and families that had never before been involved in politics, realizing that when all government control gets drawn into Washington, we're left at the mercy of our government. Thomas Jefferson observed, when the citizens fear the government, there is tyranny. But when the government fears the citizens, there is freedom. Yeah. This tsunami is about to make its force known, initially in November, and then two years later. Yeah. And so with apologies to the president, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Can we retire Harry Reid? Yes, we can. Can we retire Nancy Pelosi? Can we retake the House? Can we retake the Senate? Retire and repeal every word of Obamacare. Yeah. Can we vote out of office every politician who voted for Obamacare? Yeah. And can we retire President Barack Obama? Yeah. Now that, my friends, is change we can believe in. In closing, I'd like to read to you from a letter written by the person for whom this city is named. On February 24th, 1836, William Barrett Travis looked out over the walls of the Alamo and penned the following. Fellow citizens and compatriots, I am besieged. I have sustained a continual bombardment and cannonade for 24 hours and have not lost a man. The enemy has demanded a surrender at discretion. I have answered the demand with a cannon shot. And our flag still waves proudly from the walls. I shall never surrender or retreat. I call on you in the name of liberty, of patriotism, and of everything dear to the American character to come to our aid with all dispatch. If this call is neglected, I am determined to sustain myself as long as possible and die like a soldier who never forgets what is due to his own honor and that of his country. Victory or death. Texans will defend our liberty, we will defend our nation, we will defend the United States, we will defend the Constitution, and we will stand up and protect our great nation. God bless you all and thank you for being here.